It's 842 now and you've probably heard of Community Fairbanks. It's a drug and alcohol recovery center here in Indianapolis. Fairbanks has noticed an alarming trend though over the past year. The pandemic has been driving more women to drink and now they hope that talking about this growing problem will encourage women to get help. Joining me live is Haley Grishup, a Fairbanks alum who's recovering from alcohol addiction. She's also a senior patient care technician. She's joined by Greta Compton, a Fairbanks behavioral health therapist. Ladies, thank you both for joining us this morning. Such an important topic. Um, Haley, I want to start with you. First of all, thank you for being so brave and sharing your story. I want to give some of your background first. You said you started drinking as a teen. You ended up addicted to painkillers as well. Now you've been sober for six years. You work at the same place you credit with saving your life, which is remarkable. First, tell us, what do you do there? So I am a senior lead care, senior lead care technician at Community Fair Pink Recovery Lodge for Women. What is your day to day like? So in the morning, the girls have group. And then with the pandemic, now most of the 12 step meetings are all online. Okay. And then the girls still have appointments and they have individuals with the therapist and they have assignments. They have to cook their own meals still. Mm -hmm. And we have activities for them to do. We have therapeutic outings, and um, we just do a like. We have a very beautiful, so we do out scene. Our place is outside and outdoors, so we do a lot of stuff outside. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of fun activities that we do with our women. Uh, Greta, I want to turn to you now. Why is addiction different for women, and why do you think so many are turning to alcohol to cope? Well, I think for women who are, tend to primarily be the caregivers and that's just an added responsibility and with all of the stuff that's been going on with the pandemic, we're at home more, we're doing online schooling, dealing with the anxiety of all this uncertainty, I think it's really hit us hard as to how scary things can feel and how out of control we can feel. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I think women tend to just sit back, have a glass of wine, and try to relax, and then it becomes our one and only coping skill. Haley, for those who are struggling but maybe not quite ready to take that step to seek help, from your own experience even, how important is it that they know they don't have to do this on their own, that help is available? I think for women it's very scary, and I can only speak from my own experience, mm -hmm. that it feels like we have to make sure we're the one that keep it all together and to put on this mask that everything's okay. Mm -hmm. And for me, I finally had to let that go and come to terms that I was ready to get help. And when I went to the recovery lodge and all women's facility, you become so vulnerable and being at an all women's facility, that's what really helped me in being around all women that really wanted to have, what really wanted to get help, and they, we all had so many issues, and even having a hard time being away from our family and mm -hmm. friends, we all shared that same issue, and then so therefore, it never felt that we were alone. I, I would assume that is so important that not feeling alone. Uh, Greta, back to you. What are a few signs that people should know about that would indicate someone would have a problem, and also? When should you get help for yourself or help someone else? Okay, so if you're feeling like all you can think about all day is getting your next drink, if you're noticing without a drink you feel sick, you, you're drinking to feel better, that's a pretty good indication that you need some help. Um, if you're failing your responsibilities, having arguments with partners, uh, passing out, just really not being able to maintain your day-to-day -day life, it's probably time to seek some help. All right, Haley Grishup and Greta Compton, it's such an important topic to talk about. Thank you both so much for joining us this morning. Thank you. Thank you. And for more information on treatment options at Community Fairbanks, just go to fox59.com links.